All right, it's here. Hey guys, Sean here from Tesla Family. This is my first check from selling my first SREC, Solar Renewable Energy Certificate. In this two-part series, I'm gonna share with you what SRECs are and how I earn them in part one. And in part two, I'm gonna share with you how I sell SRECs to earn a check like this. Here it is, my first $70.50 from selling an SREC. All right, let's get started with part one. Okay, so you may be wondering, what is an SREC? S-R-E-C. Let's get started here on the EPA website, epa.gov. And according to epa.gov, a SREC is a Solar Renewable Energy Certificate. And a REC is just a Renewable Energy Certificate. So a Renewable Energy Certificate is a market-based instrument that represents the property rights to the environmental, social, or other non-power attribute of renewable electricity generation. Solar SRECs, like the ones that I'll be trading here with my system, are created for each megawatt hour of electricity generated, or 1,000 kilowatt hours, from solar energy systems. So why SRECs? Well, many states create SREC markets to spur the development of solar by requiring electricity suppliers to purchase SRECs produced in state solar systems as part of their obligation under the state's renewable portfolio standard. This solar specific requirement to meet a portion of the RPS, renewable portfolio standard, with solar resources is often referred to as solar carve out. Through the purchase of SRECs, electricity suppliers are ensuring that their products meet the RPS mandated amount of solar power. The monetary value of an SREC in the state markets is determined by supply and demand, with demand largely driven by electricity suppliers needing to meet their solar RPS requirement or pay a compliance premium. So here's the good part. If you own a solar panel system, homeowners and businesses hosting solar systems in states with SREC markets, like here in Maryland, are able to reduce their costs of electricity by selling the SRECs associated with their system's output to the SREC market for ultimate use by utilities. So what are these renewable portfolio standards? Well, here's a up-to-date map here from Desire Insight that I found on the web. You can see a number of states with renewable and clean energy standards as of this month here, September 2020. Here in Maryland, for example, you can see that they have a 50% renewable portfolio standard that they are aiming for by 2030. So 50% of the energy produced in Maryland by 2030 needs to be renewable. You can see that some states here in, in the Southeast and even from Nebraska to Idaho do not have renewable and clean energy standards, but there are a number of states out here. So depending on what state you live in, you can check this map here to find out if your state has renewable and clean energy standards. So here in Maryland, I use PJM EIS, Environmental Information Services. Who are they? Well, PJM Interconnection is a regional transmission organization that coordinates the movement of wholesale electricity in all or parts of Delaware, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, and the District of Columbia. They act as a neutral independent party and operate a competitive wholesale electricity market and manage the high voltage electricity grid to ensure reliability for more than 65 million people. So what is a regional transmission organization? Well, in the United States, these are electric power transmission system operator that coordinates, controls, and monitors a multi-state electric grid. So I can click on this map here and you can see a few of these regional transmission organizations. Here in Maryland, our regional transmission organization is PJM, Interconnection. But if you move up into New York, they have their own, and then parts of New England have their own, ISO. You can see Texas is broken up into two different sections here. Much of the Midwest yeah, even includes portions of Manitoba here. And California also has their own ISO. And ISO is independent system operator, is similarly an organization formed at the recommendation of the Federal 
Energy Regulatory Commission. And in areas where an ISO is established, it coordinates, controls, and monitors the operation of the electrical power system, usually within a single state, but sometimes encompassing multiple states. Where RTOs, such as PJM, typically perform the same functions as ISOs, but cover a larger geographic region. Here is the PJM footprint, as we mentioned before. A number of states here generally in the mid-Atlantic region, however, they do extend all the way out over to the Chicago and northeastern Illinois area. So here in Maryland, in order to be eligible for generating SRECs, your solar panel system must be located, one, within the PJM region, so I am in Maryland, or two, outside the area described in Ida 1, but in a control area that is adjacent to the PGM service territory. If electricity is delivered to the PGM service territory. Solar resources must be connected to the distribution grid serving Maryland. So here in Maryland, solar panel systems are included in their Tier 1 RPS, which is a renewable portfolio standard. We talked about that earlier here in this map. And solar here falls under Tier 1 renewable energy sources, along with wind, biomass, other things like that. And tier two is just hydroelectric power. So you can see here by 2030, there's a 50% tier one renewable energy source requirement that Maryland is requiring by 2030. Of that 50%, 14.5% needs to be solar power. So what happens if energy suppliers do not meet that goal. Well, then they have to pay a, an alternative compliance payment. So let's just go down here to solar. Since I have a solar panel system, you can see that if they don't buy these SRECs from customers or brokers, that they have to pay this compliance payment. And here in 2020, that's $100 per megawatt hour or $100 per SREC. Well, it makes sense if you're an energy supplier to buy the SREC at a cheaper price because here in Maryland the price is lower than $100. So why pay the $100 premium when you could satisfy Maryland's renewable portfolio standard by buying SRECs at a little bit lower price. And according to fleetexchange.com just as an example here in 2020 the price for an SREC in Maryland is around $73. And it looks like as of September 2020 here Soul Systems their market option is $77. And this is the amount of money that you can get paid for selling your SRECs. So if you're a homeowner, like I am here in Maryland, you're probably looking to capture value from your renewable energy resource. And I definitely would love to have some extra money back from my solar panel system. So PJM ES offers a generation attribute tracking system called GATS, which helps resource owners earn revenue through a unique market. So I have set up my account through this GAT system and it enables me, resource owner, to convert power into a tradable renewable energy certificate. And again, a renewable energy certificate is created for every megawatt hour of electricity produced. First thing you need to do to get started is you need to receive a certificate number from a state within a renewable portfolio standard program. Here, at, here in Maryland, we have a renewable portfolio standard program. You need to register for an account with GATS and then register your generator in GATS using your state certification number. So I had to get my state certification number here from the Maryland Public Service Commission. I had to apply for that. And here with the GATS generation attribute tracking system, uh, a little more information on that. It's a trading platform designed to meet the needs of buyers and sellers involved in the renewable energy certificate market from homeowners and aggregators to states and other markets participating. GATS tracks and records the characteristic data of generators registered in the system. The data is then converted into an electronic certificate, the REC, and RECs are created for each megawatt hour. The serial number is the megawatt hour's unique fingerprint. Now the certificate is eligible for sale. Buyers can vary from electric utilities to brokers to aggregators to environmental firms or to non-industry companies looking to neutralize their carbon footprint. Let's go ahead and enter my generation data into GATS. So I'm going to log into GATS now. All right, so now after logging in, I'm going to go ahead and enter a new generation entry. And I'm going to go over here and go to unprocessed generation. We have unprocessed generation now for August 2020. And I'm going to enter in the kilowatt hours produced. Here using my Tesla app, you can see for August 2020, I generated 901 kilowatt hours. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. 901 
kilowatt hours of generation, save. Do you want to save the changes? Yes. And that's as simple as that. Okay, now let's take a look and see my newly generated SREC from last month's generation. SRECs are only generated at the end of the following month that they are produced. I generated 1,033 kilowatt hours or enough to create one SREC in the month of July and it wasn't deposited into my account until the end of August, the last day of August. So if I scroll down here I can see that the entry I put in for July 2020 of 1,033 kilowatt hours was processed. So let's see what this certificate looks like. Alright, so from the home screen I'm going to go to certificates, certificate management, and I can see that I have one rock. Let's take a look at that. Here it is. Month of generation, July 2020. There's a unique certificate serial number associated with it. Quantity of one. And here it is. Pretty cool. Here's my first SREC, my first solar renewable energy certificate generated. Generated in July 2020. It's a standard certificate. And I have one. I self-reported it. The fuel source is 100% solar photovoltaic. In part two, it tells me where my SREC is eligible to be sold. Emissions, no emissions, and vintage date created here July 2020. Now let's try to see if I can sell this certificate. I'll show you how to do that in part two. Check the link above. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to Tesla Family Channel here on YouTube. We really appreciate all of our subscribers and everyone who watches our videos. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you soon. Check out all of our other videos as well. Also, follow us on Twitter at Tesla Family Chan. Use my referral code to buy a new Tesla and you will get 1,000 free supercharging miles. Or if you use my referral code to buy Tesla solar roof or solar panels, you'll get a $100 reward after system activation.